Hey guys, this is Taylor doing another base demo. Um, this time I have the ultra super awesome and rare Ibanez ST988 string base, as you can see. It is all original. Um, these have a walnut body with two maple stringers, bolt on neck that is also maple, and a maple solid block going through it. <clears throat> um, this one is in really great condition. This is a 1980. Um, it's part of the studio series, even though this is very much so could be used as a live base. Um, as a lot of alembic qualities, as you can see, the two-piece bridge, and under the <clears throat> the bridge part, there's actually a solid brass sustaining block, which was an alembic design. So you can see that the early Ibanez bases um, all across the board were great quality instruments. This one has two Ibanez single coil pickups. Um, they're actually in the shape of Olympic pickups if you have ever seen one. Uh, the controls on this are master volume. It has the preamp volume right here. It has a six-way baritone, active passive switch, passive tone, and the pickup selectors right here. Uh, this bass can get really just about any kind of tone you want out of it. And it gets a really awesome John Paul Jones and Greg Lake 8-string bass tone. Um, I picked, I've been wanting one of these forever and I picked one up for a band that I was going to be in which didn't quite work out. So I've just been kind of jamming on it. Um, sounds awesome. It sounds like a piano. <laughs> This one is strong, and the higher string, the high octave is right here, and the low octave is on bottom, um, which makes it great for playing with the pick, which I do, at least on this bass. Um, and as I was saying, for Led Zeppelin eight string tones, uh, as we all know, nobody's fault but mine. picked this up on talk base uh, the guy who had it did an awesome job having it set up um, another thing to note about the bridge that's awesome is it actually has separate saddles for the octaves the low octave and the high octave so you can get perfectly in tune and tonated sorry um, which I absolutely love because nowhere no matter where you play it's gonna sound great <laughs> inlays 24 fret neck it's a 32 inch scale which makes it really awesome to play into tune since it has this ginormous headstock um, the only thing that's really wrong with this one is the back of one of the tuning keys is missing which doesn't affect its stability or function or whatever um, it's great playing bass some dings here and there uh, the only complaint I have about it is that it is super heavy um, this is the heaviest bass I've owned, I've ever owned, and I'd put it around, uh, it's over 10 pounds, definitely. Um, I'm going to go through the controls a little bit right now. I'm playing through my 1970 Ampeg V4B into an SVT 1540 cabinet. As you can see, this is my baby, my dream amp. Um, so anyways, I'll give you some little demos. This is uh, what I've been playing on is the neck pickup, tone all the way up, and the bare tone, and the it's allowing the high all the frequencies through. And so I'll just go through the positions on the bare tone. So that's position one. This is two. It's got some mid range cut to it. Uh, position three. Uh, even more cut. Basically, as you go, it cuts more of the mid range and high frequencies out. This is the fourth position. Fifth position. 
position. And the sixth position. So I'll take it back to the first position. Um, another great song that was actually used a 12 string in the recording in an 8 string live is Jeremy by Pearl Jam. That's a great song to play. Um, so anyways, back to position one, and uh, real quick I'll go with the tone all the way off. So uh, now I'll just go through the different pickup positions in position one on the baritone. Just to give you a good little idea, you can imagine that this thing is absolutely versatile. Um, so this is both pickups. to the neck pickup and show you the active volume um, it doesn't really sound too completely different to me and my, uh, personally so let me just switch channels real quick all right uh, one cool thing is that this active passive switch works um, you know if your battery runs dead you can always just turn the volume back down so as you can tell the volume is a lot lower so I'm just going to turn the volume all the way up. Well, so that's all the positions and the little active filter. All the demoing and stuff was done passively. Uh, just real quick, you can play this with your fingers. to play the high notes of one string. ST980 8 string bass in a nutshell. Feel free to comment, like, uh, hate, whatever. It really doesn't matter. Um, but thanks for watching.